One of the scenes in the first Predator movie that caused some confusion took place near the end of the film, when Dutch, Anna and Pancho are trying to run to the rendezvous point for the helicopter. Billy is killed off by the Predator and he is heard screaming in the distance. Now the Predator catches up to them and shoots Pancho in the head with a plasma caster shot which kills him instantly. Right after that, Dutch kicks a gun Anna picks up so she doesn't become a target. Then Dutch lays fire at the Predator's location but doesn't land a hit. The Predator then shoots a plasma caster shot in Dutch's direction. Now this is where it seems like Dutch got hit by the plasma caster shot on his shoulder because of the injury. Now the shoulder cannon can cause massive damage to any part of the body as has been used on previous victims. If it lands on the head or on the torso, it can burn away vital organs and a lot of tissue. These injuries can be fatal on contact as it was shown on previous victims. Now if this weapon is aimed on a limb like a leg, ankle, shoulder, arm or a hand, it will simply amputate it and the victim may survive, but in this condition, most of them don't last very long. Now the shoulder cannon can increase its damage output by charging up its shot while consuming more energy. This can result in a more powerful shot that can decimate a target completely. In the movie Predators, Nolan was killed off by the tracker Predator with a very powerful shot from the plasma caster. This shot made his entire body explode into many pieces. So the question I've seen asked a lot is, was Dutch hit from the plasma caster shot? Well, if you look at this scene frame by frame, we can see the Predator was trying to disarm Dutch, not shoot him. It was shown that the plasma caster shot was aimed at the weapon, not at Dutch's shoulder. And when this happened, the impact of the plasma caster shot caused the weapon to release shrapnel and some piece hits Dutch's shoulder and then blood spurts out. Surely, if this weapon was aimed at Dutch's shoulder, it would have blown up his shoulder and left a large hole. But because this scene plays out so quick and in a few frames, it's something that can be hard to spot and our initial reaction is he got shot in the shoulder. And seeing the injury Dutch has on his shoulder later on, it further makes some of us believe that this is where the Predator was aiming. So in a way, it seems like the Predator planned to disarm Dutch in order to hunt him a little longer. Just like in Predator 2, the city hunter kept hunting and toying with Mike Harrigan, as if it was seeing how far it could push him. Now if such a small weapon can cause so much damage, one can only imagine how powerful a larger plasma caster would be. In the comic books, a super plasma caster was used and it was able to take out a dropship in one shot. So hopefully that clears things up regarding this scene. Now back when you saw this movie for the first time, were you part of the group that thought Dutch was shot in the shoulder or were you quick to notice the Predator purposely planned to disarm Dutch by shooting his gun? Put your thoughts in the comment section. If you want to see more videos around the Predator and Alien Universe, then subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, my name is Asaglow, and I'll see you in the next video.